All right, welcome, welcome, welcome back to hashtag Arenas Valor Beltway Battles. We are starting off with the season two match of the reigning champions from Rutgers University against the unstoppable force that is Brooklyn College right now. I'm here joined by my co-host, Hush. Hush, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hello, hello, everyone. Nice to be casting for you all tonight. All right, so we're heading into a crazy game right now. Like I said, once again, Rutgers University, the reigning champs of season one of Valorant Beltway Battles are returning to defend their title. As of right now, they are the second high seed underneath Fisher University or College. I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry, I butchered that name. Um, but that is going to be an interesting battle that we can see in the group, uh, out of the group stage into the bracket. But right now, let's not undermine Brooklyn College. They are a, like I said, an unstoppable force. Currently 1-0 in their group, but with a very strong 2-0 series score against SJU. Uh, we have the very strong players from Brooklyn College that can honestly put up a fight against Rutgers. I am very excited to see what the match is going to provide for us today. Exactly, and just like you touched on before, Rutgers University, the reigning champions of last year's Beltway Battles, currently the ranked number eight in collegiate Valorant throughout the nation. This is not going to be an easy match for Brooklyn. And on top of that, Rutgers, they didn't play last week. They had a bye coming in. They had some extra time to prep. How valuable do you think that extra week will be to this match? Do you think they would have spent the time watching the VODs, watching the demos back, and getting just all of the drills in to prepare for this match against Brooklyn College? Right. Uh, with the team of Rutgers caliber, I really do hope that they spent that first week by in terms of kind of figuring out their play style from, from Brooklyn here. But... It could be a kind of a confidence thing or a cocky thing to do in terms of like not prepping or or just uh, kind of taking the first week just to kind of chill. So from Rutgers, I really would like to see some like counter stratting here and there, but I wouldn't be too surprised if they did everything reactionary. Yep. And it looks like we are now heading into our character select. We had a pretty good look at the map pool that we're heading into, first map being Lotus. All by a split, and if we get to the third map, that will be a scent. Now, heading into this match of Lotus, this was Rutgers' pick, I believe, and this is an interesting first map pick. Now, many teams with Lotus will run a pretty standard comp. It'll typically be the double smokes coming out. It doesn't look like the hovers are indicating that from the side of Rutgers. Obviously, they could just be having a little bit of fun, but... We're seeing the Gecko come out. The lock for the sky from Prof definitely just leaning into the more meta sort of comp. What are you, what are oh, your oh, thoughts yeah. on these? Right now, Rutgers, pretty troll comp. I'm seeing no smoke, so I don't expect them to be locking it completely. But it is very interesting to see Jet come out on Jet. both sides here. Jet on Lotus is an interesting pick. I think Raze is a bit of the superior pick, but Choose if you do agent. have a crazy Jet, that can kind of entry, go crazy with knives, jet smokes all over the place, updraft, do some crazy stuff. I think you are in for a game. And it looks like the comps will be locked in here. Uh, there's no time left. Rutgers going with a double duelist comp, something very aggressive, something you don't see too, too often. With Brooklyn College opting for just a bit of a different comp, a more conservative side, double initiator. This will be a very interesting match to watch between the very explosive firepower that the double uh, duelist comp might bring versus the flexibility and possibly the longer stall that the double initiator might bring. Right, yeah. From what you can see from BC is just like, you are you really want to pocket this yeah. jet here with a double initiator and the single smokes. But you also have to keep in mind, the timing of this utility could allow Rutgers to speed up the pace with their double duelist to hit somewhere else that they're not setting up. With so it's so it's just gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting show with these comms coming at hand. Uh, right now we're not seeing double smokes, which is honestly gonna be pretty fun. I think uh, Lotus has been a bit stale with the double smokes, but I, uh, this is just gonna be an interesting battle. It's just like hyper pocket jet versus very explosive, maybe 
dynamic comp. Now, heading into this pistol round, it looks like Boston College setting up for a 2 2 1 where Rutgers is looking to really uh, push through this B, try to get this space early, holding onto the extremities very, very lightly. Very little proactivity being done from the side of Brooklyn College. Just looking around the map, they're very content with the map space that they've taken or been given initially. We can see contact has been made with Temper out on A. Although they are making noise, C opening the door. Smokes are coming out. There is one C with a fast rotate from Rockstar for BC here. Entry is made. B2 Hive going in. Noodle also getting one for his own, but B2 Hive just gets the exchange out. This is a positive trade here. Now, they're leaning, they're leaning very aggressive towards C Link. Noodle out with a blind. Flash is going out, stun's going out, but Util's out in the open. It's a one for one trade, but Bisu Hype is still going crazy. Gets the three. A, a little bit of a whiffage here, but Boga eventually trades it out. Kira was the last one, couldn't close it out, but Rutgers, very up to a good start. You can see that fast control that they did from B to C, that fast change. And it's it's what I like to see from this double duelist. You like this isn't a very conventional comp, but the double duelist just allows it to be very dynamic, explode out anywhere, especially with a three side map like this from Lotus. And there was an excellent idea behind the Brooklyn College's attempt to retake that C link control. They had the utility right, they had the timing right, they had the players there. It's just a little bit unfortunate they were just a bit too far up. But speaking of fast pace, these two hype and Boga just going wow. in, getting all four picks in that A main area, just fighting wow. for that control and just stomping out the inferior, uh, inferior yeah. weapons. Navi closing it out, making it a flawless round from Rutgers. That is the second round that you would love to see. That is a very explosive round. Although it was an eco versus an anti eco. It just goes to show how explosive that Rutgers can be with this double duelist. I, I know I keep mentioning it over and over, but this double duelist isn't something that you typically see. So just seeing this fast exchange between both of these teams is just very fascinating to watch. And there's something even more important to note. With that 3k that BC cut Hype got at the start of that last round immediately, as well as the 3k that they got on Pistol, they have this showstopper online. They have all of this main pick off the back of that, and possibly even a pick onto Kira. The first entry pick onto B, getting a second Ooh, another one. Mental. This is a very explosive start. A little bit of overheat coming in from Bisu Hype. Noodle taking him down. But they do have the C-Link space. Oh, Chris is able to take it back. Holy, even getting one of his own. This could be a very successful retake here. Flash out. Both flashes coming out on the side of um, Polo, just getting every single person from look at Temper. on the side. But Temper, look at Temper on the flank. One the enemy first remaining. Gets the first, a little bit sloppy, but now it's just all down to one. It's all down to no. One enemy Temper getting the first cross, one. not swinging, playing the time. Tap Let's comes out. One. They need to check. Ooh, oh, but there's just not enough time. This is, was a very good round for Rutgers. Although maybe you would have preferred to to keep some of the weapons that you've gotten, just getting that round really changes the tempo. Even with Noodle going down there, that just sets the economy further back for BC. Right, getting those third round bonus round conversion is just something that you can do and just take away all momentum for at least the next two rounds for the opposing yeah. team. You have now have such a snowball of advantage with your ult, with your economy. It's really hard to see Rutgers get into a bad spot for the rest of this half, honestly. That's how important this third round was. Blinded. Yeah, with the 3-0 lead, potentially making it 4-0, it really does put Rutgers in a fantastic spot. Contact B-Made, made, B-Made, made, but Chris getting two impressive shots. shots. And now the weapon's recovered. Door is open. The weapon's going to fight back into the main. But Mental gets one. Profe uh, Prof uh, trades back. But a one for one is just something that you can't afford to take here in Rutgers. You need more than that for the value of each of your players now. And Rutgers down into the 2v4, looking towards the C site. They're getting the correct read here. There's only one player on site. Can Noodle do anything to hold off against these two players? Not sure, Cover but I might have done a little bit of casting. 
and then Prof getting one. Wait, this is a 3v2. This is still convertible. There seems to be just one Sheriff right now. I'm not sure about the other two weapons from BC, but this could easily snowball to a win for either team here. Now, look at the health on... Look at the health on Brooklyn. There's two players that are already low. Yes, they have two rifles in their hands. Or only one rifle, really. I thought they had two. But the health is so low. Prof, Prof just gets a timing here. The discipline Prof. to not shoot immediately. Just just waiting. One they know they have time. Oh my Ever goodness. Ever with the Odin. Last player stands. Down to what? a 1v1. Nice. But Prof is just too good to clean it up. Chris just looking the wrong way with that timing that Prof found. The trades really did go through on that one. But BC, they put a fantastic fight. Especially Chris getting those those two one taps in B main to convert the round potentially here. into their favor here. was fantastic. And now we're getting an op out here with two ultimates coming in for BC, the Omen ult and the Jet ult. Uh, Rucker's not much to really play with, but their economy is stacked for the later rounds. It looks like Rutgers is just heading for this heavy C. They're likely going to try to get this orb for their Killjoy, getting one point closer to their ult. But really, the end goal is just to take this site as fast as possible and just get the bomb down. There's nothing much that BC can really do to hold on to this site. All of the Killjoy utility expended, Bogo looking to get in a little bit further, looking to find a pick. Bomb is getting down from Prof, but it's going to be a 5v5 retake. No casualties on either side. Yeah, but you can see, they, although they did plan somewhat more amount, they're not really playing for that most, but they really want to fight for the site. With Bisu Hype getting one, Polo getting another on Tanabi. This could be crazy. And another one for Noodle. One enemy remaining. Bisu Hype and Boga just going crazy, but Chris potentially going for this. It's a 1v2. It is possible, but sometimes you have to question, do you just want to save that operator? And so far, it just looks like he's going for it. Like Boga cleaning out the kill on Chris. No saves for the op. Kind of looking for it as well, grabbing it. We're here because we're this the could best. be Don't a very, very tough half for BC. The explosiveness from Rutgers, able to get that site for free, and then eventually just win out the fights on site in that post plant. That's not what I really wanted to see for Brooklyn. Brooklyn, you had the double initiator, you tell. Try to get something, try to get a pick potentially, but it just does seem like Rutgers is abusing that weak site from BC. Right, and you can just see how easily Rutgers is able to move and navigate across this map. They just, they're taking all of this space. But look at all the way up these. But it's just not enough. Rutgers is Sorry, able to Manu. shut them down. The weapon disadvantage is just too much. That's a sixth round on the board for Rutgers University. It, it just looked a bit predictable yeah. for BC's eco. Because they just did another B hit. Although, potentially, I, I'm pretty sure they had more players there. They were just funneled into that tiny choke for Rutgers. Rutgers were just able to just sit there, spam, spray him down. And that was just the end of that. Just shooting fish in a barrel. Indeed, now, indeed. Brooklyn College setting up for this heavy A main pressure, but they're not going to find anything in return. Rutgers going back into this C mound take. All five players grabbing this orb, grabbing this control, having three you ult online now. There's nothing yeah. that Brooklyn can really do to contest this either. There really isn't. With the KJ ulti going down here, this seems to be just a difficult site. Again, although Rutgers were able to exploit that weak site, they just exploited it even more with this KJ ulti. It forces them back. As you can see, C link control was taken. And now, the retake attempt coming out from Brooklyn, but they have such little space to work with. They're trying so hard to get this waterfall, and they do they, uh, get these two hype off that position. And now the retake is doable. The breach ult comes out. Sight is cleared. They know no one can really threaten them from this. And for they have to, they have to play against the time here. A pick coming out from the side of Koga, uh, getting traded back by Noodle and Mental. And now the DP is coming through. A temper with the Odin getting all four Whoa. players on site. That Bad. is crazy. That was a huge contrast from their from the post plant that they just played on C recently. They were all fighting towards site, but then all of a sudden that dynamic just completely changes. They're sitting in mound, sitting in mound with a post plant for them, and then temper 
with the Odin just mows down three right then and there. It just seems like there's nothing for BC to kind of work with here. I Either it's just like a dynamic change on their side and they can't really find their footing in terms of the retake or just the the comp difference like the comp like agent composition like i'm just yeah. seeing nothing here from bc yeah. like they can really work with rutgers is just taking them over they're just driving that force downwards it, it, like they're just going to show that they are the season one winner of the valorant beltway battles like they're just showing bc here well speaking of things for bc to work with hopefully hopefully this timeout will be able to do something to get the momentum back in their favor. And if you look here, BC not really in the best spot in terms of eco. They can get a force buy out here, but if they lose this round, they're just going to be working with scraps. They have to make the decision very fast, and it looks like they're opting for this lighter buy here, and they're going to have to make a play here off of those worse, uh, worse weaker weapons. Looks like it's going to be two people fighting out B main, three people trying to control this A main area. But that's where all five players from Rutgers is. How will they be able to deal with this? It really doesn't look like they will. Beast to hype, getting the first pick, but oh, trading it out. Oh, it's trapped. The next two picks going the way of Rutgers from Navi and Boga. And yes, two players are on flank. How much more can they do? Boga getting one pick. Blinded by Kira. It's just. It's all going over. in. It's a 4v1. Boga just it's going in. It's, it's just the it's knives just absolute, going in. It's absolute humiliation. Oh no. Win. That just show. Go. That just goes to show. Although BC was the uh, unstoppable here. force heading into this, the reigning champs just dominate. They're on a completely different tier as of for this map. Like, you can see the awareness coming in from Bogey. Although he gets one right in front of him in A main, he turns around, completely aware of the flank. I don't even think Util was broken for that flank. He just turns, gets one, does a little dancey dance, potentially going for the knife, but Temper closes it out with that knife. I don't know if we can be having that. I've got I'm sure we trail. can, but... Yeah, that's just something that you would not want to see if you're a fan of this world. Now, fast A hit coming through, getting through tree, Temper already getting the first pick onto Po on the site. And now, there's just so little that Chris can do to snatch it onto the site. Getting back site spotted out. It's just nothing that you can do. Shut down by Beast 2 hype. No. This, Beast this 2 hype getting a second. Execution was just absolute tip top perfect. Potentially another flawless round. Akira, actually proving me wrong, takes down Bogo, who actually had the operator. I'm surprised he lost that fight, but Temper mowing him down just ends up getting three again. The Odin is unstoppable. Now, it's it's a pretty well-known fact. Odin's a pretty strong yeah. gun. People don't love it, but on especially yeah, on a map like this, especially on a map like this, but there's so many angles where you could just spam down sidelines, spam through walls. You just get so much value and that so much ship damage. This this map is just complete paper mache and temper with the Odin is just scissors just going ham. This this is this is his world right now, and he's just mowing down BC. There's nothing that BC can really do to counter this. Oh, he's too hype looking for an early fight, but not any utils to be able to support him getting shut down quickly from Brooklyn College. And this is just a massive brawl in this A main side. Temper oh. getting spotted out. Now it's just Bogo looking for any explosion kills. Getting one, but it's just not enough to keep numbers advantage or numbers equal even. But look at Navi. Look at this. Already well. gotten through the back lines. Bomb is getting down, planted door, uh, towards the C site. And now it's just a 2v2. Although there was that instance of the Bob crazy clash back. on A. Realistically, it was just B2 hype just picking into five players. It it was just absolutely great for BC. They were able to push forward. They got the kills. But in the end, Rutgers were me. able to adapt. As you can see on C, Nobby throwing that flash, going for the delay. He cannot do waterfall, making contact with Prof and Nobby. End the round 10-0 in their favor. Uh, as, as I was proceeding, BC were able to get that man advantage conversion. But in the end, Rutgers just adapted so quick and even like easily just 
evened out the playing field. Exactly. Uh, that, that's that's just something that I'm so impressed with Rutgers and and BC. They just lost their footing. I don't know what's happening. I, I maybe it's like a lack of awareness, but this 10-0 does not look good for them. And yeah, as you were saying, Rutgers really did lose that opening, uh, the opening of the round at least to Brooklyn College. But their quick adaptation, their quick response to still have uh, Boca just hold there and try to equalize while everyone else ran towards the seaside. Just a perfect response. Tempers turret Timmy, getting a the pick. The turret gets one. Three players on flank spotted out. They're no, uh, very well noted. Weaker weapons. Temper just being the next line of defense. The turret gets shut down by Chris. Down to a 3v3. We can see Nobby potentially going for this play. Throwing the smoke on himself could Here. potentially hide from this cover. As you can see, BC all on the flank. They throw the blind. Trains go out. BC noodle. But Nobby just closes it out. They were just not aware. They wouldn't have thought a player would have been there in that smoke. Last round in what the What a heads up play from Nobby right there. Just that understanding the enemy's the perspective perfectly. The wits from this guy is absolute. But you can see it is it is 11 0 lead right now with three ultimates on the side of Rutgers and the three ultimates on the side of BC. There's a KJ ultimate that I would like to see be in effect and the breach ultimate. These are some crazy good retake ultimates, but I don't think BC it can afford to play retake. It feels like once they lose the site, the round really just becomes so so much harder because they have so many factors working against them and the time being added to it is really not doing them any favors. Anyways, Rutgers all the way through tree, all the way onto site. Chris stuck in pit looking for one, gets the keys to hype, gets out with the Get dash and the updraft. That was a very, very fast exchange right there and raise ult for an early pick for BC and then Kira you getting the one on Nobby. This is... This could be... The tempo change that they needed, but Boga just disrespecting Kira before they can even pop the ultimate. Boga going in, full stun, mental, getting the kill on Boga, who was still stuck stairs from the stun. As you can see, they are focused up towards sight. They know they're in tree. The clash is going through tree, and then Chris clears it out, ending with a 3k. We're not going to be seeing day 13 0 this game. Exactly. This is a round that BC needed badly. Now, although it is 11-1, BC, if they can win this pistol and then get the bonus, there is a way for them to claw it back. I've seen the 9-3 curse. I'm not sure if I've seen the 11-1. Yeah, the 9-3 does get talked about a lot. But the 11-1, it's really not impossible to get back into. What's really, really important here is to see how uh, Brooklyn College approaches this pistol round here. How they get back into the correct mind space uh, to be able to perform at their best without any sort of pressure of the last half hindering them, really. Yeah, but now you can see BC leaning for this explosive B hit, it seems okay. like. Now, now, this is where I mentioned with like the pocketing the jet. You can see the Uto, the dog, clearing out the easy corner for jet just to focus the sight. Smokes go out. We can see Chris is dashing in, stuns, flashes, but everybody behind him is just stranded. And there was a beautiful idea out there from Brooklyn College trying to take the C1 space, but again, just too far isolated on the side of Brooklyn College, just easily picked off by Rutgers. And now they're forced into the C side. They get the plant down, but it's still a 2v4. It's going to be so difficult. And this first point, going the way of Brooklyn College, a little 1 HP Boga getting the 2k to close out the round. That's 12 on the board. Match that, map point, rather. That is a pistol Brooklyn College needed. Now, what I'm gonna assume is Brooklyn College is gonna buy for it. Like, the next round, try to snowball it, but realistically, there is no room for them to play. They are down 11 rounds. Match that is 11 point. rounds you need to win to tie it up and bring it into OT. That is something you don't see often, especially on a map like Lotus. Once you establish your footing on Lotus, it is hard. It's so hard to bounce back. I really need to see something here for BC with the force here. The stingers you can see going out, potentially the specters. It, it's just not 
going to work here. It's not a pretty buy, but if it's any consolation, this is the hardest round that they'll have to play in this map. They win this, they can turn it around. They have the ability to turn it around. And they're going for this fast C hit, going straight into the jaws of Tempur and Boga. Flash out, the dash out, the early trade out from Temper and Polo. But they didn't clear Ben! They did not clear Ben! So Boga's just getting two regardless! Beautiful oh. shots from the side of Boga and the bomb! You see the bomb? It's down in the it's middle handed. of sight! One enemy remaining. Shots are going astray, but they ended up on Noodle. Raw Mental! Standing. Mental getting two! This is still winnable! The Stinger! Possibly getting the kill onto Boga. Boga is 34 HP. I'm not sure if they are aware of how low Boga is, what but the timing has been made. The timing has been made. Boga slightly aware, trying to get the gun, but just it's too slow. This is a round that Brooklyn College needed badly. Mental, winning it out, giving what? them the lifeline. What a beautiful clutch for Mental. They're finding the perfect timing to just creep the way, their way through the site. And now that's the hardest round they've ever had to play in this map. You know, I it's wasn't over. a fan of the Stinger buy, but, you know, Mental did just prove me wrong in there. And now they're up on Eco. They're in the anti-Eco here. They're also just about winning out on the alt side of this economy as well. Heading back into this trusty C hit. But this is where Rutgers is three stacked onto site. It looks like they're really trying to play into these two hype shorty here. Just seeing if they can get any damage off. Oh, two picks immediately going the way of Rutgers. One enemy oh, remaining. This is... Okay, traded back. Traded back by Brooklyn College. And now it's a 2v1 for Prof. Wait, do you think they potentially One committed enemy remaining. with the ultimate? Although there was not that much value, I, I I think they were just scared to potentially lose a round. That's kind of how Rutgers is right now. They're just that crazy Titans. That you, like you're kind of afraid of. I mean, I think it's from rounds and rounds where they had the man advantage. They had to just be wary. Um, I would have liked to see that KJ ult be saved for the next round, but I mean, I wouldn't blame them if they tried to respect Rutgers at this point. Um, but now you can see the Operator coming in from Boga. Boga has been hitting non-stop shots with his Operator. I would like to see them kind of pop off, but uh, you, you can kind of see that they've been straying away from A, which Boga has been playing. You can even see Rutgers just kind of backing off of C right now. They threw the util, but they don't really want to contest this. Maybe they're comfortable retaking. Um, but Brooklyn College kind of exploiting the space. You can see Temper is, is on the site. Shooting some shots, throwing the util, and this is where the hyper pocket jet kind of goes in, dashes in, potentially making that space. But the door opening applies some pressure. They are able to get sight, but the fast rotates from Rutgers, even getting two in the end. It's insane. The three, the polo, noodle. Just crazy kills coming out of nowhere. Boga puts the man advantage for Rutgers, and I, I, I really do kind of want to see this kind of go in the way of BC, but it's just not possible. Prof just ends the round with a 13-3 fashion for Rutgers. That is a very crazy first map. That is a strong statement made from your reigning champions. They want to move on. They want to continue playing. They want to get their revenge even against Fisher in a different group. I believe Group A it was who knocked them out of Seaval in that previous season. They are yeah. here to play. Yeah, but um, I really do hope this series just goes a stretch. Like, I, I really want to see a map three. Uh, the Lotus, you can see, was a very strong side for Rutgers, but I really do want to see something here from Brooklyn College. If Brooklyn could come back, get that map two, they are in real contention to actually make it to the bracket. Uh, I'm not sure if this is their their determining match, but if they win this, this really does make a statement for Brooklyn College. But anyways, of that match, we're going to get into a break before map two. That map one was just astounding, 13-3. But we're going to take this little break. I hope to see everybody into map two shortly.
All right, welcome back everyone to the Valorant Beltway Battles, Rutgers College versus Brooklyn University. That first map of Woodis was, to put it bluntly, quite the wash for the side of Rutgers. We'll really need to see Brooklyn College take this map back and in convincing fashion if we want to see them even have a chance at this series. Now, speaking of this series, Let's take a look at the map pool. This last map was Rutgers pick. So clearly they were very prepped. They were very practiced on this map. Now going into this map of split, the second map, uh, it will be Brooklyn's pick. Hopefully they have more ideas, more strategies, maybe some cool pocket plays that they can bring out to really throw off Rutgers. One really odd thing to note, actually, split is historically known as quite the defensive side of map, but it appears as if Rutgers really are confident in their attacking side, picking to start that attacking side. The only justification I can think of personally is that they want to go in with that double duelist comp once again. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even be surprised if they really ran the double duelist comp here. I mean, they did it for Lotus, which conventionally you don't really want to rock that double duelist, but it's it's anybody's game at this point. You see, uh, from Lotus with Rutgers, they were able to prep. It's a very prep-heavy map. Split, it's somewhat the same. It's kind of hard to mid-round and especially rotate if things go awry, right? If things go, like, the wrong way. So I would really like to see the double duelists here from Rutgers because they were just able to pummel, and I, I'll say it bluntly, slam Brooklyn College on that Lotus map. I would really like to see that here. Uh, you can kind of see the hovering here. We do have temper on that KJ, prof on the sky. That's pretty traditional. Sometimes you'll see the double smokes coming in, but as you can see, the hover on the double duelist from Muckers. Um, Brooklyn College locking in the jet. Also, potentially looking like a mirror Choose comp, but instead of the KJ, we have the cypher. This is a very interesting matchup here. I, I would really like to see the series go the length, but this is just a clash with these comps. Right, and I will say I I am a big fan of the cipher. I do I do love the cipher on this map. I wish he was more viable on more maps, but split possibly his best map. Maybe maybe sunset, but unfortunately we haven't quite gotten to see enough matches of that. Now heading into this match, any thoughts between the last map, this map, anything that you're really hoping to see out of these teams? I really do want to see a tempo change coming in from Brooklyn College. Although they are starting on the defense side, I really do kind of want to see that change in pace to kind of put Rutgers on uh, the backbone. Like, they just have to react accordingly. I, I really do want Brooklyn College to just make that statement in front of Rutgers just to say, we are not afraid. We may have lost the first map, but we are still here to fight. That's what I would like to see from here. Brooklyn College right now. Now... It looks like Rutgers really early want to go for some sort of B and mid control. Leaning into this mid side heavily with three players, maybe even four. How are Brooklyn College going to be able to try and fend off this pressure? Now, see Cypher is solo on the B. The early nade coming in from Brooklyn College, that is a very, very good nade. Uh, I'll just say, does a little bit of damage, but... Rutgers, uh, unbeknownst to Brooklyn, they are still taking the space. Uh, you can see the utils out in the open. Rutgers, they do make contact with Polo in heaven. Keys are coming out for Hira, but uh, no no kills were exchanged. It, it's just constantly cycling out the utils. Uh, as you can see, they are going up mail room. They do take the space, but are they aware of the Cypher potentially being towards me? Contact is made, these two high going down, and then Noodle getting two of his own, Temper were able to get Sky's one as out. well, but the trades are just coming in from Brooklyn College. Numbers are ahead, now we have seen them in the numbers advantage, they have lost rounds with the number advantage, but 4v1, this is just too strong, too compelling for Brooklyn College to really lose. And you can see Kira just does close it out. First round of the half does go the way of Brooklyn College. This is. I believe the first pistol that they actually won. Right, and that is something that you really love to see. You're a fan of Brooklyn College right now. Just getting that pistol round immediately, 
that heavy utility trade in the uh in middle, getting each trades back and forth, pushing the Rutgers call uh Rutgers College or uh, Rutgers University College. Uh, uh pushing them away from that B heaven really, really strong map control throughout being able to give and take as needed and closing that pistol round out with four players alive this is a very promising start for the side of Brooklyn College yeah now you can see them play a bit spread out Rutgers is still going for that mid focused control you can see uh, splits very often known to take on taking that mid space um, although there is information that they are contesting there the fast rotates coming in from Kira on the raise, kicking out, the smokes aren't going out. But you can see the recall on the smokes really does catch Kira off. And then Nami getting that kill. Polo getting a trade out, but Bisu Hype getting a kill as well. And Temper. The the, the sheriffs are just just hitting right now from Rutgers. It, it's absolutely scary coming in for this not, round. Not only just the sheriffs, but the spacing and the trading for the side of Rutgers is just too pristine. Like, the way they were taking those fights into that the heaven, they, they shouldn't be favored, they shouldn't be winning those out. But even still, just able to close it out to this point of getting a 3 person to 1 man advantage, down to a 2 for the, uh, two to 1 man advantage. Chris, looking to close this round out still, just trying to find any individual fights, but Prof just too aware not giving them any chance of winning the round, getting the timing yet again. That's a thrifty round for Rutgers. They're going to be feeling good about that one. This is a round that you really don't want to lose here, because it definitely does snowball the half for the next two rounds, in my opinion. I, I, it really does suck after winning a pistol, losing to an eagle like that. That just sets Rutgers on a very high footing here you, especially on a map like split you kind of want to abuse these out. angles you kind of want to abuse the close quarters but they just weren't able to capitalize with the weaponry here on that second round now you can see flashes going in they're getting mad aggressive but Rutgers are just kind of avoiding that leading towards a space is created they do have this a site now he's still uh, getting onto this rafter though a very aggressive play not aware of Chris either both trying to make the sneaky play in heaven, trying to play this awkward timing, but all four other players from Brooklyn Road funneling through this Indian area, getting mowed down by Ember here, traded back by Chris and uh, Mental. One enemy now it's remaining. Three. Prof getting the first pick, and it's just a firing squad onto Mental. No chance back into the round. A third round conversion from Rutgers. Honestly, more well, less of a bonus and more of a an anti eco, but even still, that is going to snowball them into the next wow, round. So nice much heavier as you stated earlier, with the cosmic divide up so close to so many other impactful alts too. It's it's hard to say that they're looking their right form there. is looking any worse than they right were on there. this. Now, even if Brooklyn were to win this upcoming round. Although it would be 2-2, Rutgers just has that economical you advantage. To fight it. Uh, you can see the operator coming in now, but it, it's just... With double duelist here, just very explosive, but then Kira gets one. Temper gets a trade onto Kira. They have the space, they have the site. It does look like Brooklyn just does want to play retake on this site. I'm not sure if they can really afford to, to play retake, especially with the operator Spike in the hand planted. of Chris. It just seems very difficult to just pull this off. Smokes thrown out. It's a 4v4. They're being weary of this lurk. Wait, Chris does actually get one onto Nobby. This could be very doable. 4v3 advantage for Brooklyn. Uh, they are scaling outside. Bisu Hype getting one. Temper getting one as well. Noodle. But the numbers just go to the advantage of Rutgers. Awareness from Prof. Ends the round with the kill onto Noodle. This is a 3-1 lead. This is something that you don't really expect, especially after winning that pistol. You would think, two, oh, you win that first two rounds with, uh, after winning the pistol, but this is a complete change. 3-1? That is impressive from Rutgers, and pretty demoralizing for Brooklyn College here. And even, even worse, honestly, for Brooklyn College, because of all of the rounds Rutgers were able to put together, they have two massive alts online, and they're just two points off of Beast 2 Hype's showstopper as well. They're just hitting this A site, and it's just going to be a massive wall yet again. Just a first fight coming through for Kira. Pop getting free. It's 
such a quick round. It's flawless for uh, Rutgers. That is for all no fights. Just the right away of Brooklyn. There was snake. nothing that they could do. That's just something that you see pretty common from Brooklyn. It's it's the fast eco stacks that they do. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it because against a a strong team, the strong Titans like Rutgers, you just get mowed down instantly. It, it just does seem like they threw that round into waste, especially on a, a closer tight knit map like this. I, I feel like it is abusable to to use the the classics and the ghost, but. Rounds aside, Bomb we're heading to this new one. The Rutgers are still leaning towards A. B, C, although I did want to see the tempo change, they are forcing down a race ult down mid, but there's just no value from it. Noodle getting one onto B2 hype. Boga getting the trade on that. That's pretty much all the A hold, but Chris gets the spam. J uh, Temper also getting the trade onto Chris. This is like a neck to neck round right now. This is like a pretty decent change in that dynamic. Dobby getting the kill onto Polo. Kira gets the trade onto Temper. This is, uh, this is just crazy remaining. round here. Nobby getting the kill on Kira. Standing. Mental getting the kill down. on Prof. It's just down to a 1v1. Trade's going back and forth between each team. And it's just in this 1v1 push point where it's just so impossibly difficult to play against this Astro. The gravity while being used to get Mental off the bomb immediately oh, off the first tap. Second tap coming out. Stun goes through. Mental is spotted off the bomb. And now they can just play with their food, they can play with time. There's just nothing that you can do here if you were mental. Just a bit of disrespect being shown from Mavi. Just playing with their food. Like I said earlier, there's just nothing you can do there when it's just a post point against the Astra. You have so much time, they have all the cooldowns, they have all the stars. That's just not a round to win for our, our round that you could have won if you were on the side of Brooklyn College. Very, very demoralizing. The the trades were going one for one, but in the end, they lost to that post plan. This is something that I really need to see from Brooklyn College, where they have that man advantage and they're able to pounce on to that post plan, but so far it just seems neck to neck, even if they were in that situation. If not, they're just getting low down. Now you can see Beast 2 Hype creating that space, getting the kill on the wrist on the elbow. Uh, Boga also getting the kill into Noodle. Nabi watching the flank, although gets one, gets taken down by a Bucky. Spike Keep planted. in mind, a Bucky taken down. One Shots going for the way of temper. And that's just another round for Rutgers. This is something that you don't want to happen for Brooklyn. You just see Rutgers being so keen on their attack, isolating just what appears to be such a weak site, honestly. They're finding the weak point in the map and they're just exploiting it so well and even still throughout all of that they have Navi watching the flank aware of the space that Brooklyn College has been taking towards that mid side it feels just like Rutgers can do no wrong at this point yeah but you can see Brooklyn is going for a small e main flash here it's a little peak dogs going out the razor coming in with Rutgers gets nothing actually Looking like a misfire, if it, absolutely no fire at all. Polo just gets that kill on Misu Hype. Nabi getting the trade on the Kira, but Polo gets also that trade. This is, this is looking like another one of those rounds where it's just back-to-back -back trades. But can Rutgers get the advantage? Unfortunately not. Nabi gets the trade on Polo. Prof even getting the kill on Noodle. This is just looking absolutely rough, especially with the operator on retake. Wait, there is a liver. Oh, good timing here, an excellent adjustment onto Mental. Just blocking their way into elbow, barely missing that shot onto Navi. Just, again, Rutgers fast hitting this A site. Just not, no real meaningful adjustment coming through the side of Brooklyn. This is where you would want to see a timeout, and just as I say that, Brooklyn College calling a timeout. They need to understand. Hey, Rutgers is constantly exploiting our ASI. We need to do something about it. We need to understand what is happening, what is going wrong, and how we can play around that. And right now, it just feels like they're way too committed to fighting for this site. They're always going into this post plant with a man, oh, not even a man advantage, just a man disadvantage. They're so committed to taking and holding onto this site that they're just getting mowed down in the process. They're getting trampled by Rutgers running onto this site. Adjustments we need really to see do Brooklyn need to be adjust. 
yeah, adjustments really do need to be made here in, uh, inside of Broken College. As you can see right now in the in the timeout phase, we do see the Cypher towards A. I'm not sure if this is really enough to take down the unstoppable force of Rutgers right now and their push. The, the, the A hits have just been unstoppable. Even if the trades were to go out, in the end, Rutgers just play the post plant to absolute perfection. It's just too difficult for Brooklyn to really play retake towards this A site right now. But that's something that they're still leaning towards. Although it is an eco, maybe they don't want to show the strat of them fighting for a site. It's just, it's just too difficult. This is a round that you don't want to lose. So it'll be all down to mental on this A site. Trying to play with the judge, trying to get whatever value they can. You getting run. the first pick onto DC Hype, but not spotting out Boga. Boga getting the trade, and again, this A site is taken. Rutgers may be a little too hasty to use that Killjoy lockdown as three. Four players, no, three players from the side planted. of Brooklyn I've walking got your through trail. flank. Get, going to get spotted by the turret. Temper, finding what value, aware of this possibility of Noodle. But it's down to a 2v2. Weapons equalize. Prof, again, finding a, such a good phase, such a good timing to get into this advantageous position. It... It's a 2v2, but it just feels so hard for standing. Brooklyn to get back into One it. As I remaining. say that, they get the first pick, Prof not able to close out the second. Planted for heaven. There's just such little that Kira can do to win this round out, especially with time working against them. Peak coming through for Prof, just trying to get Kira off the ball. Seeing Kira just sticking and playing with her food again. Rutgers just showing no respect in the post plan. Closing post -plan. out an 8th round for themselves. Postplant and the adjustments from BC when things aren't going straight is just not apparent. Rutgers is just absolutely playing with their food. A little bit of disrespect, but they are playing their postplant to absolute perfection. The, the, the mid round, the late round that Prof is doing here and there and the rest of the players is just too good right now. And I really do need to see Brooklyn kind of change. I say this here and there, and I say this a lot, but... There's just no footing for Brooklyn right now. Now, it again seems like their idea is just to put that set over to the A site, but that's that's really not enough. You're trying to hold mental, getting the first pick, trying to prove me wrong. Let's see if they can. But it just feels like there's such little that they can really do. You want to fight it? Now the pace is slowed down to a crawl. Mental getting out. It's like making sure that they have the man advantage going into this post plan. And immediately, looking for the trap, trying to get a fight out. Trades going in the way of Brooklyn College. This looks like it could be a successful round for them. Unless Boga they walk through but not able to get a fight out. An incredible no. adjustment from Brooklyn. I wasn't sold on the sold uh, take hold on site, but a quick fight through round and trades just going the way of Brooklyn ensures them a second round. Team Ace. Now that was a well needed adjustment, well needed change to get their second round of the half. This is something that I really thought Brooklyn could do, and they had the potential for is just to make these adjustments. Uh, they've They've headed into their first match with a 2-0 fashion. I really want to see Brooklyn put up a fight, and that's what we're getting from that round. Here. That fight with Mental getting that first early pick oh, and then nice instantly one. backing out, good adjustment right there. And then the ability yes. to just bundle up, go into ramp, and get the kills and trades to get your favor was absolutely stellar. Now, I would really like to see them replicate this round again from Brooklyn, but the explosiveness from the double duelist just puts down mental. Now they have this screen space with a judge, keep in mind, with a judge. A close map with the use of the judge, it, it's just nearly impossible to play against. The shots going the way of Rutgers. It's just, it, there's nothing that Brooklyn can do. I'm just speechless. This is absolutely pitch perfect. Last round before the switch. Uh, Rutgers just understood the adaptation. They understood that they could just dive the Sentinel player on the back site because they had no support. They just found that weakness. They exploited it. And that's just what they've become so good at. And they're even just taking a timeout. They're thinking, hey, we're up 9-2. 
we want to make this 10-2. We want to close this out 13-2. How do we ensure that we make no mistakes going into the uh, next round to make sure we can close this round uh, match out as quickly as possible? What happened in that, uh, the previous two, uh, the round before the last that made us lose that round? Uh, how do we not repeat those mistakes? It seems that they've already had it figured out. It seems that they have the answer they want. But even still, they're just taking their time, taking a breather, getting a mental reset in. That's a good thing. Maybe yeah. going in up 8 to 9 to might be a bit overconfident. Taking this small pause, it can do wonders, really. It can do wonders, but you have to really think about timeouts being a double edged sword because Brooklyn College are also able to talk to their team. Uh, it's, but you see this a lot with teams that do have the momentum. They don't really want to take the timeout. They just want to carry that momentum that they've it's gained throughout the out. half. Just keep going for the remainder of the rounds. But to take a timeout like this, there must be like uh, some overheat. But regardless of the timeout, you can see that they're just going for these same A hits. Brooklyn actually making the adaptation to stay on site and fight for it. Even with the Cypher, they even commit the five players there. Chris is kind of ba moving back and forth, but Temper getting one, but also get traded out by Noodle with Kira also getting the kill on the Rutgers Jet. Noodle getting one. Bisu hype, but gets the kill on Chris. The space is made for Rutgers. It is a 2v3 post plant. However, Spike I wonder if Rutgers are able to just pull with the wonders that they made into Lotus. I, I, I really do want to see something happen here. Standing. Oh, Stupid gets spotted out there. That was that such... is unfortunate. That was such a sneaky position. They had to make something happen. They had to try and make, get two, get three, make a play happen. And now Prof just gets picked off in the three v one. It is being closed out nine to three. Now we have seen nine three curses. I'll just say I even mentioned in the last map nine three curses. They are real. The question is, do you believe in them? Switching sides. Ooh, it's that's a hard sell, to be honest. I, me personally, I don't know if I can get behind the nine. I should curse. play some astral stars. In there, this there might be Start a little out. bit, or a lot of categorical evidence to back it up, but nice I, it, it's just going to be too hard to say. I think Brooklyn College, they can get definitely get back into this map. They can try to make a very convincing statement. Especially, again, with this double duelist comp, they can get that uh, same level ex of explosiveness that Rutgers had on this first half on their entirety of last map. It's just only Yellow. down to Gina. see how they will play around their comp and how they will play around this map. And it looks like they're going into this heavy mid where only the jet on the side of Rutgers will really be able to do anything to stall. And they really aren't. The heaven is taken for free. The first pick goes the way of mental. This fight with the main doesn't slot out. Navi though, Navi getting one, looking for another, gets a second, and now they just have full main control. Last getting a third, a fourth, an ace, potentially. Line comes out, shutting down Navi's ace, but Navi just doing wow. too much damage, holding down, being the anchor of that B site, B main, honestly. That was a crazy round from Navi. I wish we could have gotten the perspective, made. but that second piece, is just I gotta visit the to incredible. Back. The shots, the headshots, the taps, absolutely insane. But that's just I'm like absolutely go. demoralizing for Brooklyn College because you really needed that pistol to really make this comeback. It, now you're just down seven rounds, you really need to catch up. It's just, it seems difficult. Uh, now, with the oh, eco again, we have seen it on the first half. Ecos can win you rounds. But do you really see it on the side of BC? Oh. Wait! Dashing the, into the nade! The shells just picking Here. off the jet. Absolute misplay. That Absolute is misplay. a travesty. But Three players for fucking college just still in this middle area. Going to funnel into this B heaven, it seems, but two players here will the other side still playing, kind of swinging through. Oh, Hype is still, still alive! It's wow. all down to Chris now in this 2v1. I got the spike. Picking up the bomb, looking for a weapon upgrade, getting the Bulldog. Can they turn it around? They have all of the space, they have all this time. They're not 
they're not being particularly careful with how they're moving around their map. Oh, that, that was a great right impression coming in from Rutgers, surprisingly. Uh, One enemy numbers, remaining. Now it is looking like it's winnable for Chris here. I'm not sure if Chris is able to isolate the 1v1. It is possible. It's Vandal versus Bulldog. 74 HP on the side of Chris and full HP for Nobby. But Chris just cleans it out. The taps to the body shots is just that easy. Like I said, the eco conversions coming in on split is absolutely insane. It's, it's a close knit map. Like, you, you, you are able to abuse these classics, the sheriffs. And Brooklyn College just proved it. This is like an absolute replication of the first half where somebody wins the pistol and then boom, the other team just wins that eco. Right, and now that's just forcing Butkers on the back foot, but even still, they have some terrifying prospects here. They have the judge in the hands of these two hype walking behind this mid box. If they don't get cleared, this could be absolutely lethal. It looks like Brooklyn might be a bit aware of it, but the dog goes through, doesn't quite spot out. Kira getting the kill anyways, just being oh, that much more aware. Temper now with Nami trying to hold down this B-Heaven area. Hogan looking for a brawl in mid, and trades are going through one for one. Not exactly favorable for the side of Rutgers, but again, they're just wow, really looking to get whatever damage they can get done here. Fights being taken over towards this B main side, but that's not where the uh, attention should be at. Look at the A side, Bond just getting punished inside of Brooklyn. And now there's just full A having control. This retake is going to be so terribly difficult unless Navi gets just the perfect timing through here. One enemy Looking remaining. For a fight getting shut down by Noodle, and now it's all down to Croft in a 4v1. Guardian in hand. In such a tight, close quarter position, this is just looking like it's impossible. Yeah. Now, Rutgers are no strangers to winning ecos. So that is just absolutely difficult to yeah, win, especially now. with the amount of space that Brooklyn College have created into that post point. It just looked impossible. BYB fam, going now, to Astral to do them. Astral Guardian, you can see Astral, money is kind of equalizing. This isn't something that you kind of want to deal with, having this financial they struggle, but. It, it's it's something Heading that Rutgers really need to kind of snowball the momentum into their favor. Even if they were to lose, getting the weapons down from Brooklyn College could potentially snowball this into a map win for Rutgers and series win. Yeah, just trying to play aggressive shotguns, but only finding one for their troubles. Losing three in the meantime on the side of Rutgers. Now this B side is completely cracked open. It's just all down to temper with the Guardian trying to potentially make something happen, some magic in their hands, trying to go uh, through. Getting one, getting two. Now last trying to player through. standing. Doesn't get a third pull, shutting down temper. But temper just made this round all of the more winnable for these two types. Planted. Retrieving a rifle, retrieving that vandal. In this I've got your trail. Getting planted. Do they work towards the hell side? They don't noodle. Able to close that out, but that was made an incredibly scary round in those quick moments where Temper just got those two picks on the site. Now, I know it's been four rounds, but are you convinced for the 9-3? Let, let, let's think about Should it. I play some style? Brooklyn College winning three, especially winning their eco. I think this is very doable for Brooklyn College. Like, it, it's a battle of the strap books right now and, and battle of the economies, but... Um, I just want to say, I, I think the 9-3 curse is real. I just want you to believe. I I already said I wasn't a believer, but with the way that things are shaping up, it's all about momentum. What can they do to keep the momentum on the side of Brooklyn College, and what can Rutgers do to break it? That is what's going to be done in this matchup. And two quick picks coming out from the side of Rutgers. Boga walking up even further this be made, garnering all of that space for the side flash coming out in the info and now it's just a massive fight through mid maybe a little bit of an overheat hole getting one navi getting two Spike for down, the mid. troubles though and that's the bomb down it's noodle trapped in well it doesn't matter noodle trapped in shock getting taken out by temper again it's all about momentum that momentum that broken college had in those last what three rounds of success getting absolutely shut down and Brooklyn College can feel it. The timeout again.
coming out. Okay, we just lost a round. Let's get a quick reset in. What can we do going into the next? What resources do we have to work with? They have the Cosmic Divide. They have the Cypher ult, the Neural uh, neural thref, uh, Theft. They have the Jet Blade Storm. They're not particularly low on the economy, but if they want to make a play, save into an op, let's just say, they could definitely try to invest into it. Maybe they go for orbs or early fights on Kira just to get that showstopper up. There's so many things that they can work with and that need to be noted. This I'm timeout is absolutely necessary for the side of Brooklyn College. With, with the five-round deficit coming in from Brooklyn, you, you really do need something. Again, you did say it was momentum-based. I 100% agree. You, you need a lot of momentum to carry out a comeback of this caliber, right? Yeah, you, you have to start considering what did Rutgers do that affected our ability to carry out the momentum. For instance, I think in that's like round specifically, there was just that clash in mid. They were Rutgers were just being active, and trades weren't going the way of Brooklyn College. It, it's up to Brooklyn College if they really want to recreate that same scenario but try to play out differently out or just way. go for a different game plan. As you see, it's the same dog going in. Contact is made. Op did shoot that dog, but Flash is going out. You are stalling a bit of this mid. It isn't so heavy coming in from Brooklyn. Flash is going in with Chris getting the kill on Boga. That was disrespect being shown from Boga. Getting Very impressive, but Temper! Place. Temper wow. with two huge frags. Noodle cracking the A site open regardless. The site is now the side of Brooklyn College. They're going to get this bomb done. They're going to get this post punch. But Beast 2 Hype getting just a Spike little bit ahead of the curve. As the ball goes down, finding this first pick onto Polo. The judge is now fully understood, fully revealed. And this retake is now on its way to happen. Beast 2 Hype getting shut down by Noodle. A fight going into elbow from Prof. Looking to get a kill. Getting a second clean shot from Prof to close out the 12th round. Getting now, to those, match point. Those shots from Prof, absolutely clinical, I'll just say. Though those were some really good shots. But yeah, that's this is something that Brooklyn really can't afford. Oh, they they need to carry out this momentum. Especially going to a comeback like this. Like I have repeated it before, but the post plans have just always looked so good for Rutgers. I don't think you ever really want to be in a scenario where you're in this type of position where Rutgers match are just point. able to kind of carry out their 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 driving force into the post plants. It, it was just absolutely insane coming in from Rutgers with the retake. Maybe maybe a little bit of encouragement going on in CT spawn over there. Now, seems like a very standard uh, defensive setup, and it looks like the attacking side is going for a one four. It looks like it's going to be a fast A with a possible mid here. here from Mental, but. We'll have to see how Rutgers can adapt to it. He's too hyped yet again. Up the ground. Up shot coming out, trying to get some temper, looking for a fight, getting shot down by Chris Boga, trading it out. But now it's just time for these two hype. Satchelling through, trying to get something, but the timing is just off. Oh, being able to shut that down. 4v2 in the favor of Brooklyn Hall. Sky Hall gets pub, trying to find where every enemy is, trying to create some pressure on this retake. But it's going to be terribly difficult. Flash coming out, Navi looking for a fight, but really they're just stalling out for Prof to get down this ramp area, looking for this kill onto one the enemy Sun remaining. coming out in hell, but Kira with the up, able to shut that Prof, getting a second. Wow. Impressive shooting to Kira. Impressive shooting. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll just say, like, you really don't want to be in these, like, even. 3v3 post pen situations uh, if I were Brooklyn College. I really do want to get these numbers advantage. And they were actually able to exploit that in that round specifically. They just exploited the fact that Rutgers were just being overzealous and over committing to this fast push even before the bomb went down. So that's just a very good adaptation from Brooklyn and I think a flaw coming in from Rutgers. Now again, this is just the same round on repeat over and over again. Every right team identifying A site as the weak site, putting four, five players on the attacking side over to that site. Stars coming out, Trailblazer at the Pogo to get an early fight off Chris, dealing with a lot of that chip damage. But no kills going on the side of either team. These two types 
running through trying to make something happen with the showstopper, but Temper is the one that actually does for Rutgers. Getting two, one with the uh, mana spot, one, one with the rifle, remaining. getting a third, getting a fourth. Spike they down, get a to close it out. It looks like they're trying to get this ace, baiting for this kill, but Noodle shutting that down. No ace for Temper, unfortunate scene with that highlight deal they were trying to throw out. Noodle is 1v2. Terribly difficult position. 1 HP really getting shut down by Navi. That is 2 0 on the side of Rutgers. This is progress, now, my friends. Although, although was, it would seem like a clean 2 0, that second map went the distance, I'll be frank. We, we saw everything coming in from Brooklyn College, but they just weren't really able to find their footing in that first half, it seems like. It, it seems like every single first half that they played within the series, they were just not really able to find the footing. Not able to find the adaptation that they needed. They've won pistols, they've lost pistols, they've lost ecos, they've won ecos, but that split map was just absolutely clinical, especially that first half from Rutgers. Rutgers putting out a statement, the reigning titans of the Valorant Beltway battles, they are holding that. They're holding their ground. I'll just say they are holding that belt. They want that belt. They are just going to keep it. Absolute titans. Well, that will be all for our, our match tonight. That was, again, Brooklyn College versus Rutgers University. A very exciting, exhilarating, really, match to watch. Especially in that second map, getting a little bit scrappy at times, but making the match much closer than it was in the first. We, uh, we have been Hush and Ara, casting for you all tonight. Thank you all very much, and take care.